All right. May I? May I now? How are we doing? How are things? All right. I'm a chick. What the hell is the difference? Oh. My goodness. Okay. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Shh, shh. Start this again. One. All right. Two. Okay. Three. All right. Four. The, the like, the like crossbow lips she has here are very interesting. It's not crossbow. Cupid's bow. Cupid's arrow. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Oh my goodness. What the hell? What the hell do I do? Hey. Oh, Emerald Coast Australia. That's what we want because that is where the um the whatever the thing is. Um the dare drop for this one is name all of the animals, 14 animals in under 30 seconds. Shut the fuck up, Jelly Buns. Shut the fucking fuck up. You knew what I meant. Shut up about this setting stream. Shh. Emerald Coast, Australia. The Emerald, located in Australia, the Emerald Coast is home to a wide range of vibrant biomes. The region teams with all kinds of feral animals and introduced species that put pre Hold on. I'm not hearing a word I'm saying. The region teams with all kinds of feral animals and introduced species that put pressure on ecosystems and impact local farmers. Explore the outback, subtropical bushlands, and tropical rainforest. You'll encounter some of the fascinating fauna Australia is known for. The magpie goose. Here we go. Write these down. Magpie goose, bentang, eastern gray kangaroo. Oh, I'm going to write these down. I'm writing these down already. Mag pie goose bantang eastern gray kangaroo kangaroo also doc I need you to know that my throat hurts from you forcing me to do D DMX. Okay. All right, here we go. Screenshot. Got it this time. You guys, the last skipped frame was eight minutes ago. Please let me know. <laughs> Fuck you, jelly buns. <laughs> Eastern pinecone koala. Cupid mayo goose bear. Purple space giraffe. G'day, mate. How oh. you going? Fine. Uh, Welcome fine. to our oh. beautiful Emerald Coast. Thank you. Out here in the bush, both the fauna and the flora are unique and fascinating to observe. Oh, I'm Robert, by the way. Hi, Robert. Just call him Robbo. Why do you sound like a tourist guide, Robbo? I'm Sophia. Sure, this region is a beaut, but it's also bloody fragile. Too true. That's why we're stoked you're here to work with us. This is already very uh, there's pretty. There's no rule that says you can't have fun at work, eh? You game? Yes. Am I crashing? What is this game even about? Hey, look at me. All right, so. I'm hitting tab. There's there's my Where gun. Did you drop you off exactly? What's that? Anyway, you're not far from my station. Why don't you climb the fire lookout tower that's close by and see for yourself? From there, you'll see clearly where things are. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Um. F. G. Yo. Un G. It may not look like it. But you're T. On private land. B. This belongs to Sophie and her husband. We run a station. C. I'm in a farm. And Robert's oh, own land is north of here. 
Australia's a massive country, as you know. So it's not uncommon for folks to own huge properties that sprawl huh. over kilometers. Across several biomes, even. That's why we need to hire professional hunters like yourself. I reckon you won't get bored. I know. I knew it. Doc, I know. I realized what I said. Doc is like, yeah, yeah, it's always my fault your throat hurts. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Bad dog. I'm going to examine the trek. Footprints. Trot. Eastern Grey Kangaroo. All right, what happens after I... I mean, why don't they tell me things? <laughs> Going ahead and examining the treks from this Eastern Grey Kangaroo. Chivalry told me that kangaroo means I don't know. In Aborigine, I believe. Droppings, very old. Do I pick them up? Can I loot them? What's happening? All right, so that. And then this. Uh, th oh. Hey! Oh, what is that? Is that a knife? Hey! Mating call. I'm going to go ahead and look right through my binox. I, um, it came with the, um, debauchery, the DLC. There was DLC that was loaded in with it. Uh, hold on one second, because I would love to tell you what the DLC was. The new DLC for the Hunter Call of the Wild has been added to your account and will be installed with the game... Um, that is not, okay, so DLC, Emerald Coast, it's the Emerald Coast DLC, obviously, because that is what I'm playing, so this is, this is what I've got, the Emerald Coast DLC, all right, shut up, and listen, Jelly, it's a picky-uppy game, why wouldn't we want to loot the droppings? All right. <gasps> Hold on. I want to look at the balloon. And can you... Oh. Well, those people are fucking. All right. And if I pick it up, is it still zoomed? All right. Yeah. This is... <gasps> Do I kill it? Hold on. Do I get to shoot? Or what? Oh, I'm gonna get it now. How is this possible? Oh, good. Oh, I'm getting my ass handed to me by a kangaroo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mia, kill it. Don't leave it just... Oh, I hate myself. Bleed rate, medium. I'm sorry. Confirm trophy. Wait, is it trophy hunting? Why am I playing this? I have the option between three maps now. Okay. So what did I get? 12 gauge buckshot. So that was a shotgun. That's why it took that many shots. Um... Flesh, right for phalanges, left tibia, left fibula, right fee. Flesh, sacrum, coccyx. So th are these the places where I, I shot it? Taxidermize? Safe harvest? <gasps> what is this game? All right. Okay. Next shot. Interesting. Okay. And then I inspected what is safe harvest. Harvest has been saved and is now available in the trophy manager. I got the leave no animal behind and some other 
achievement just there that I missed. Okay. Kangaroo had it coming to him. Kangaroo did nothing. Oh no. Jelly Buns, what did I do? <laughs> Run up to them and yell, Player 3 has entered the game. It's something earn a bronze rating. Okay. Okay. All right. But, okay, so, so I had another option, though, which was to taxidermize. So I'm going to have to learn. How do I noise fleeing? Oh, did it come and check out the noise? Oh, snap. Novice marksman hit an animal from 50 plus meters. And that was 55. Okay. Where'd it go? I took it down. I I honestly thought I, I killed it. Droppings. So I made it poop itself. Well, I thought, I thought I shot that pretty well. All right, so how close are the binoculars to the, the rifle? What is the position? All right, never mind all this. I'm going to, so I've just, I've just basically left a wounded animal in the wilderness. I'm the best. The best worst person. Oh, it's going this way. Okay. Or maybe it started back there. More fresh droppings. Is it, it's just leaving like fright poop? Or injured poop? I hear, I hear that. Okay. And what's this guy doing here? Shiv, I have a feeling that you would enjoy this game a lot. I suppose running is not is not the way to uh to track animals, right? All right. All right. So let's get our butts to so, we're going to get our butts to the tower. What I wanted to ask here was, um, is it beneficial to examine all of these tracks? Is there something about, like, what it's feeling like for me is in Red Dead when you get clues. You want to click on all of them, but I am thinking it is different from that. Is that correct? Tracks that you examine should be able to highlight other tracks for that animal. Okay, so it's, but it's not something that I will get any kind of benefit from clicking on every single one, correct? It's not, you, you don't have to come to click on every track. I hope my question is making sense. You just shared that clip and Mr. Buns lost his shit. I am extremely. <laughs> oh, wait, I just, <laughs> I just realized, I just realized what clip you got. Jelly Buns hugs. And that was the player three has entered the game. Do you... Feral goat, feral goat. Had I written down feral goat? I thought you meant player three has entered the game, feral goat like i thought honestly thought you were making another game reference with the kangaroo that i didn't understand okay so you can use it to generalize the direction that that a creature is moving are you hearing that 
Jelly, thank you again um, for inviting inviting me to the Among Us stream. That was a lot of fun last night. I will tell you that that was the first time that I played Among Us. I think that may have been the third time that I'd played it ever, but that was the first time that I felt like I'd actually gotten uh, a... a bit of a handle on the game. I was talking to Glomdi about it afterward. He. He. Trivial. I wonder, uh, is that rating, the trivial or non-trivial rating, is that like the quality of the animal? Actual question, debauchery? You fully intend to do it again because you wanted a group twice that size. Also, Jelly, congratulations on um, on making it happen. I know for you it was like, this is the third time I'm trying this. It better work. And it did. And yay for that. Because I know, I know that feeling of, I keep trying to make Hi, something happen. holding up at the fire lookout tower? I'm doing Welcome quite well, out. thank you very much. <laughs> Good on you. You almost made it. Once you're up there, take a moment to breathe and enjoy the view. I breathe by pressing H, right? Jesus, fuck! Alright. Am I breathing? It's a rating trophy-wise, uh, you believe, debauchery. Okay, great. Ronan, I was a natural at it! Honestly, I hated... I, I am... I dislike... Well, wait, Ronan, hugs, thank you. I, I don't like the lying aspect of it. I'm not... I don't feel... I know, um, Icicle... Icy was saying the same thing, but just making up a lie and trying to behave like I don't know what's going on. Ugh. <clears throat> it did feel good to kill, though, Jelly. And also, you were up my ass all night, my dear. Just, you know, verbally. Fox is saying there's an old joke where if you hear two people banging in the next room, you kick the door open and scream, Player 3 has entered the game. I love that so much. Pretty. The Outback. That's one of the first things they think about overseas when they hear Australia. It's arid and it can be tough out here, especially after the bushfires in the last few years. But it's also a surprisingly rich ecosystem, home to heaps of unique and sometimes bizarre species. Um... Debauchery, I think, is correctly saying Mia Did loves the chaos, but not the lying. Then please come and get settled in. Eh. Sorry, I can't be there to greet you in person today. I'm out on a hunt too. Okay, so currently, debauchery, is it correct? What? This is saying tracked animal. But that is a previously spotted feral goat. So what is the difference between previously spotted and tracked animal? Actual question. And are these spots right here, are these all of the places that I clicked? So three question, two questions. Difference between tracked animal and previously spotted. And are all of these circles places that I have clicked on? What is there to say about us? Yes. Well, Robbo and I are neighbors. Neighbors? How about best mates? Technically, we're also neighbors, Robbo. But yeah, we Robbo. both grew up here. Our folks oh, here we go. Stations. Never mind. In other words, we became mates because there wasn't anyone else around. Oh, no. Yes, mind. You even lived in Brisbane for a few years after uni to try to get rid of me. But even that wasn't enough. 
too right. We tried everything. A long-distance friendship, crazy jobs, stupid boyfriends. And jealous girlfriends. As a last resort, we each got married. Nothing worked. Except one thing. Having a kiddo. That worked wonders. Anyway, let us know when you're over at Soph Station. Fox is saying this needs DLC where you're in the middle of an emu war. Debauchery wants to know if there are giant spiders. Blackbird is saying Mia, the victim of six foot one inch. His body is already turned into a ghost. Police officer. Ma'am, that's just a sheet we cover the body with. <laughs> and, and Jelly is saying we, um, she and I lie similarly. The moment we're guilty, we are quiet and serious. Yes, Jelly. Yeah. Uh, also, Among Us feels like a game to find out who is more full of shit. Indeed, Fox. Play Among Us with your friends and you no longer can keep lies to yourself. Ugh. Um, AG got me so well last night when it was down to three of us. It was AG. I can't remember who the other person was. I think it may have been IC and myself. And I said stupidly something in a new map. I said this. Um, I'm just sitting here trying to get my tasks done. And AG asked me what task, name one. And I said, oh, the, the, the wire one. And he's like, nope, it's you. Because I had not done any tasks in that map yet. So I did not know that there was no wire task. The highlighted is your last tracked animal. The rest of the marks are previous tracks clicked on. The green is a visually seen and highlighted. So tracked versus visually seen. Perfect debauchery. Thank you. So they want me to go here. So I will place a waypoint. Um, kind of also feel like I want to go after that feral goat. And, okay, and then if I, um, how do I bring up, shit, nope, shit, how do I bring that up, how, how do I bring up the binoculars, I'm not sure, there we go, oh, I think it was H, okay. And you want me to spot, God damn it. They said, have you spotted the, our post? All right, hold on. Where does she, because, because there's a, a, a binocular marker there, I, I, I feel like I'm supposed to be standing there and looking out. So what is the, the, what is that? I say binocular on purpose. That's from the young ones. Um, but what is the binocular marker mean here? Um, debauchery. If you don't mind. Whoop. Oh my goodness. Okay. I am concerned that this game is going to be something I am going to want to spend a lot of time with. AG is a lot smarter than he looks. Yay. The purple blob is your hunting pressure. If you kill too many animals in that area, they will stop visiting that area altogether. Let me look at that again. The purple blob, you said. Oh, the purple blob! Okay, uh, okay, so, again, uh, do you have an answer as to what I am supposed to do with the binoc binocular, um, icon? And can I jump? pop that in there. <laughs> Drian would be so proud. Okay. So in respawning, okay.
I swear I thought you were going to call them but bedonculars. Okay. That would have been pretty amazing. All right, so I'm hearing something. Shit. I am no longer hearing something. But now I'm hearing another thing. I feel like this is a game where I am going to want to keep that sound turned up. So Debatri is saying you will apply hunting pressure to the map as you take shots at animals and it moves along with you. If you are in, let's say, zone one, area one and cause hunting pressure and then move to zone four, area three and start shooting, both will show hunting pressure. OK, however, if you leave the areas that you have applied hunting pressure to, it will dissipate in a time. OK, the binocular icon is just indicating that you are at a lookout point. Thank you. That's right. ACAB sim is done, and we are now being a different kind of monster. We are a hunter. And welcome back, Samalander. How are you? How was your, uh, how, are your oh, how was your grocery run? Thank you. Wait a minute, I hear you. Okay, but is it? Oh, is this, hold on, is this the next waypoint? I mean, the next quest marker. Hold on, let me, let me look at the map. I did put, put um, a waypoint here. But I'm curious. Mission hint. Okay, yes. All right, great. I know, depending on what you're hunter hunting, it's actually a good thing. I know. So here's a question. How do you find out the names of the animals in the area? the names of the species. Is there a place to look or do you only learn them as you come across them? Because that is my dare drop for this game is to name all 14 species in under 30 seconds. And I'm wondering if that is something I need to play to learn which I'm assuming is the case, or... if if there's uh, a catalog available. Because again, this was supposed to be a, a noob level... Examine, goddammit. Okay, I'll just... A noob level dare. I did kill a kangaroo earlier, and I didn't do it well. I'm so sorry. Debatri usually marks waypoints for points of interest on the map that he wants to unlock for XP. Got it. Ronan saying, if a squad of emu shows up, I won't say a word. Just blast. Jelly Buns saying, we have these invasive bugs in New Jersey that we're supposed to kill if we see them. And I know it's a good thing, and I know they're invasive, but I just can't do it. Un understood. And Ronan's like, wait, we do? No, Jelly, I know. Hate bugs, but can't kill them. Yes. And I'm trying to be better about... It's, such, it's just such a silly response to see a bug. Like last night, I was in my room, and I was... There was something on my lamp that I thought for some reason was a twist tie, and I went to touch in it, touch it and it was one of those awful bugs with the um with the two pinchery things 
at the back. It's like a... Oh, gosh, I wish I knew the name of it. But I yelped and realized I needed to immediately go over to the shiv shack and just say, I'm okay. I just saw a bug. The lantern fly. Oh, debauchery. Install it. You're on your way to help install and help me figure out controls. Oh, well, that's nice. Thank you. I know, Maxine. The farm sim was also supposed to be noob level. I know. I I kill I killed the kangaroo for its Nikes. So another question about this game. When I am hearing things, are those actual indicators of an animal nearby or is that just um, ambient sound? So when I'm hearing a bird call, should I look up and look for the bird or should I understand that that is... Um, I'm going to undo this right now because I don't feel like I need the waypoint. Um, since it's already a green marked area. Travel a distance of a mile on foot. Yay! Accidentally popped an ant in a tissue the other day and felt bad about it. I know. But try pressing escape. Uh, debauchery is saying, I don't remember which, but there is a codex that will show stuff for the map, including animals. Regions, people, wildlife. Oh, nope. This is all the wildlife. So it is not showing this wildlife section is just in general. <laughs> Here we go. East and gray kangaroo mating call. So that makes sense. They want you to explore in the game and come upon the animals. Although, wait a minute, wait a minute. That, hold on. Trophy lodges. Okay, you get perks. Oh. Inventory, weapons, ammo, consumables, mission log, visit the upper. So where do you, I wonder if there is, is not a place where it marks all the animals that you've seen. Eastern gray kangaroo, mythical. Minor, hard, minor. Okay, so these are like um, poor to perfect in um, in fucking Red Dead. Fleeing noise. Debauchery is saying, I believe most of the noise is ambient. However, you will get calls when animals try to mate or are warning other animals in the area about your uh, from your sound seeing you are sent. Okay. Mosquitoes don't count. Jelly, my sister. We will kill all of them. And ticks can fuck right off. 
I think I'd shared with you guys that a friend of mine from the gathering um, a couple of weeks ago, he lives in Texas. He comes up for this gathering every year and he got a tick bite, um, removed a tick on Saturday and on Thursday he started feeling poorly and he wound up getting um, a tick-borne illness. So guy lives in Texas where he's not worried so much about Lyme disease, comes up for four days or a week and gets Lyme disease. Welcome to my station. It's quiet at the moment, but it can get a little too busy around here sometimes. I reckon it's sort of a hangout for our community. We even have board game nights sometimes. Board game night sometimes. Anyway, your cabin's ready. I've prepared everything for you. No, Jelly, it's not weird to feel bad about killing a bug, which has done nothing wrong except live its life. And... And we're 11,000 times its size and to be scared of it or, or freaked out by it is completely stupid and we know that. But killing a human in a video game is extremely different. They've earned it. I'm gonna shut that screen dual right away so I don't get any bugs in here. It's a bit basic, but it does the job. Feel free to use it during your stay. During. It's our pleasure, really. Is it really? Eric and I opened these a couple of years ago to make an extra buck. They've been a lifesaver. Oh, this is a store? Take your time. Make yourself at home. Grab a couple from the bar. We don't make a fuss out here in the sticks. I don't know how much money I have. I ha- Uh, 3171. Okay. More space. Oh my goodness, too much to what? Get started. Wait, would you mind grabbing something before you head out? It's a book Robbo lent me ages ago. A book? Which one? The one on imposter syndrome or the one on kangaroos? Uh the kangaroo one, yeah. I left it in the bar. You can't miss it, mate. So hunter mate. Hunter made is what? When you need more info, look it up in your codex. Luckily that thing won't take over my job just yet, but it's still bloody good. So the Hunter May is is that your quest log basically? Tracking mission will display the current objective on your hunt and highlight any no missionary you can view all currently acquired missions in your mission log. Moving all right. Slower is the best way to not spook animals. So move deliberately instead of yeah. rushing through the bush. Yeah. Yep, good luck with that. And then they had said, um, they talked about the codex. If you're wearing the right dax, you can Honestly. crouch or even crawl. That way you'll be less visible and more stable to line up your next shot. We've evolved beyond bugs. They need to learn their place. Thank you, Fox. Switching weapons, yep, I've understood that. But what, oh, the... Harvest screen details the specifics about your harvest, including directional information on each shot that connected. Using it's an approach. Bloody expensive to be a hunter in Australia. Keep hunting and selling your harvests to generate enough income for your needs. Great. May well, I learn we, about the game? Nature and taking photos is still free. Codex. Codex. Okay, that takes me right to the codex. Yo, undo, and then it, as opposed to escape, which will just like, yeah, okay. But if I hit this, okay, yeah. Well, something was said that seemed important and I lost it in all of the bullshit. All right, I have to get These a book. Tracks, Honest to you fuck. You can follow them, but don't forget to also look up and observe what's in front of you. All right, so the shelter can be used to rest and wake up at a specific time by adjusting the clock. Um, the cost for resting increases with each use temporarily, but is eventually reset after a period of time. No, 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 no. So wait, so wait, tell me about resting, you guys. What does it reset for you? 
what does um are there stats like health stats i don't see health stats tell me about what resting does please rifle arrows sight collars sense decoys i don't feel like there's anything to buy right now storage character i don't like my outfit i'd like to change it oh i i wonder if the ghillie suit will make it more difficult for me to move around oh and i also can't unlock it go shit yourself all right so i don't have a backpack that i definitely should should get okay trophy manager all right garage I don't own the required DLC. Okay, great. Kennel. Purchasable dog. Can't buy it. Why? Why? Don't show, show me a dog that I can't have. All right, so I definitely would like a a backpack um i think it would be smart how are you tell me oh i thought it was 1000 i'm having fun you guys i'm having a lot of fun might reset hunting pressure does cost money don't know if it heals health ghillie suit does not make it difficult to move around but wearing a bunch of stuff like backpack will add more sound thank you so much debauchery um you had said at one point click on the feral goat and i need to understand what you had wanted me to do i'm past the area um where you had suggested i do that all right so let's see x gonna give it to you Let's see if I rest for a little bit. What time is it right now? What if we rest for an hour? Go to the map. Okay, well, an hour may not have been enough, but regardless, okay. Um, yeah, so the under codex for wild animals. Do you mean wildlife? Okay. Feral goat. Debauchery, what did you do? What did you do? Ah. Wait. What did you do? Okay, I will look at that after. Codex for Wild Animals. What did you want me to see about this? The New Zealand feral goats were brought into the island in 1773 by early explorers, whalers, sealers, settlers, who brought goats with them for food and bartering. Over time, more goats were brought in for a variety of purposes, from livestock to the handling of other invasive plant species. This problem culminated in 14% of New Zealand now being populated by feral goats, all of which have begun to destroy the natural plant life of the island. Currently, hunting in Judas goats, hunting in Judas goats are the primary means of handling the threat. But this has not done much to stop the goats and they still remain a threat. You gave me Doge? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you wanted to see if this showed what maps that might be on. Okay, and it looks like it is not showing that. Um, what about the kangaroo? It was an Eastern, East kangaroo something. This guy. Species, difficulty, equipment. Active social senses. Oh, habitat. 
No, that's not quite it. <clears throat> what is this number? The, uh, the goat said three, and it was... Oh, they're both hard, but this has a three. And that's got a four. Do we know about three and four? If you're on a map that doesn't have those habitats, it wouldn't appear on the map potentially. Okay, no worries. Um, let's, so my next question being, what are the three and four mean? Also, let me do, um, let me use, I have a skill point. So I would like to start that, right? Okay. Locate tracks. Level one, the directional tracking cone becomes more accurate, narrower, both in the world and on the map. Great. Sweet. And now I have unlocked these. I can't get them yet, but I have unlocked them. Okay. All right. All right. So let us go. Out here, we have a lot of fire lookout towers. They're really high, so it's quite the workout to get up there. But unfortunately, in the last few years, we needed them a lot more than we'd like. Where is uh, recommended equipment debauchery? I wonder if it's under the codex. Like if I go into here, wait. No, yeah. Hello. So I'll go to. Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm hmm. Start from the left and work your way across the board. Yes, that makes sense. Fox, I really wish, here's what I hope for us, that eventually I play enough games that every time you make a reference, like the only codex I need is the codex Astartes, um, and then yelling for the emperor, eventually I would like to just understand what the fuck you are ever talking about. The numbers, those numbers three and four, are the recommended class for ammo or gun you will be using for that animal. So I go here. Also, thank you folks for being patient as I learn about this game. There is quite a lot. Class four ammo, four. Feral goat, three. Class three ammo, great. And then I imagine if I go into my inventory, um, I'll look at my ammo. Recommended classes two through, hmm. Why is it recommended class? Is it, is it the gun, the weapon that has the class associated with it? No, hmm. Why recommended? Hmm. All right. Um, let's try to do more. Is both your friend and your enemy. You're hidden, but you're loud as hell. So be careful where you walk, especially in Australia. And this is just, I claim this as my home. So you now it's just talk animals, but sometimes it works just as showing well me the to icon. Them. If you use callers, you Storage can get rest. them to come okay. to you instead. All right, so what I want to look for now is the uh, 12 yards, okay. And if I pulled out my little thingamaboo. No, no. No, 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 no. How did I call up the little the little thing on the left there? My little, there we go. Okay, got it. Soap's present to rub all. Right, that's the book. Great job. You're the best. I'm flat out right now, so I reckon you'll visit Robbo's shelter before I do. You have no idea how stoked Robbo will be when he gets it. 
All right, uh, this is what I got, Robo. Your Robo. Task has Mother Christing wounds. fuck on there all things holy. Because of them. There's one east of my station, so why don't you start heading there? We'll bring you up to speed on the way. Was what a magnum desert eagle? What, what? Uh, did I hold a gun that looked like that? Soph's present to Robbo. This is what I got Robbo to celebrate our 30 years of friendship. Oh gosh, how time flies. It's a silly little stuffed kangaroo. Nothing too special about it except its name. My husband, Eric, and I saw this silly little stuffed kangaroo as we were walking past a Prezi shop in Brisbane a few months ago, and we knew it would be the perfect present to get Robbo riled up. Thanks a lot for delivering it to him. You should see the impressive collection of stuffed animals Robbo has at home. Roo, Salties, Magpie, Geese... The whole Aussie ecosystem is there. I have to admit, though, half of that probably came from me. Hold on, salties, magpie, geese. Since I reckon you're not familiar with Ruse yet, here's a bit of context. Later, we know you can do your own thing. We have the eastern grey kangaroos <laughs> around here. You'll find them in the outback, of course, but also in grassy bushlands. They're a very important species in Australia. But they don't have a lot of natural predators. So they can easily be in overabundance and cause overgrazing. Are we are we good? They can make life heaps harder for other animals and throw the whole ecosystem out of whack. Not to mention the economic impact on our stations. Can't say it's been too brilliant in the last couple of years. May I please may I leave? All right, so now I'll press my little H button. Keep forgetting what actual button it is. All right, so go to the overgrazed area and then it is marked here. Can I also go in here? No. There's just too much population control to be done. You can't keep up on your own. So, we often work with the government to hire professional hunters to help us out. Carolina saying, good thing this... Soph is also a hunter herself. And she's the chair of our Hunters Association. Yeah, we organize hunting parties with other hunters when we have the time. But most of the time, you all like to just hang out at your bar. That's part of the fun. Our community's not too bad here. Carolina said, good thing that this game ain't voiced much. In, in, indeed. Warning calls indicate they have noticed, started to notice your presence. Try to move more quietly by using cover. Make sure the animal is not downwind from you. Okay. Yeah, well... In theory, walking without shoes would make less noise. In reality, though, the Emerald Coast is probably the last place I'd want to test that out. Noise meter, lower right-hand corner. Where... Oh, okay, and then if I run, yep, we got two, we got two, and then if I drop, there we are. Oh, and then the middle icon is what Robo, your position is. He turned his boat station into a wildlife sanctuary a few years ago. Yeah, we take him with <laughs> the animals, we nurse them back to health, and if possible, release them back into the wild. Standing and prone, so we have... And you arrange guided visits with schools. That's when Robbo gets to talk the kids' ears off about the wildlife. I know. That's the best part of the work. And most of the time, they listen. If you look at the lower right corner, you see the binoculars. Underneath, you see the heart meter. And then the one, in the, the one to the right, the speaker icon is my noise, but the one in the middle... It shows you you're walking, if you're standing, if you're crouching, um, and then prone. Let's see, what would... Oh, that was the wrong thing. And that is that is fully down on the ground, if you can see that, that straight line. So that's good to let you know, like, what all is up. And then... And then there we go. Okay. I I actually am appreciating the um I'm appreciating 
the voiceovers. I'm not appreciating the fact that they are it, it's I would appreciate them more if I weren't streaming is what I'm trying to say. Feral goat tracks can reveal useful information about an animal, what species, whether they were calm or fleeing and in what direction they were heading. I'm so sorry, you guys, while I play this game, I'm just not going to be able to not try to speak with this accent. Carolyn is yelling, everybody well, take cover! Open like that, chances are there are like a dozen animals staring at you and thinking, who's that drone goat? Animal has seen you lower your movement speed stance while using foliage or other objects to stay hidden. The, 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 the dialogue, it, the, the text boxes are not up on screen long enough for me to read them. I'm going to fucking freak out. I'm not trying to hunt anything right now, so I don't care if they hear me. Anyway, folks, folks, folks. Um, please, please make sure that you are, you are entering. Um, shit. Fuck. I want to, where's my binox? God damn it. Spotting an animal before it spots you is the bread and butter of hunting. Keep your binoculars handy and use them often. Gotcha, you, you little bitch. Feral goats are everywhere in Australia. One of the Brought to the island, 1773 whalers, Some sealers, and settlers. Escaped and became feral. Food and Seems barter. We aren't very good at keeping animals in their pens. What's the noise over here? Yeah? Trek animal mating call. Brought goats for food and bartering. So interesting. So, Debauchery, is it the case that the binoculars are always in my hand? Like, they're, they're not something that I have to scroll through inventory. It's if I hit H. No, that's not true. Okay, never mind. Exclamation point raffle. If you are a follower and you would like to uh, be entered into our weekly game giveaway, we have 50 plus games still available for people to yeah, choose from. Mother Christing one. hell. Be careful. Could be tough to hit a vital organ when they're on the move. Seeing is believing. Spot 10 animals. All right. That's cool. Macropus giganteus, or the eastern gray kangaroo, heaviest and second largest marsupial endemic to eastern Australia. Oh, should I try to kill it? I probably should. Okay, here. Hold on. Come on. No, I don't want to reload. Please, please. It's interesting that the um, the the scope, the rifle moves just a hair. It doesn't stay straight. So they are trying to mimic the the reality of um, when you're holding. You see, see it just slightly moving there, and that's pretty cool. So now, if I hold my breath, nope. I, uh, which is the hold my breath button? Uh-oh. what I do now? Okay. I wonder if it's F. Feed zone discovered. Location added to map. Uh, or feed or need. Locations where animals return to eat, sleep, or drink. Investigating tracks, cock, and fucking balls. Well, I, w I would like, I'm going to stay here while the monitor shows me the rest of what that was said, because it feels like that was important info. Um, investigating tracks or spotting animals in a need zone will reveal more information about it on your map. Okay. Look at this. Active and inactive. Active belongs to the animal you're currently tracked. If inactive belongs to a new animal. You're not tracking. Default color for active is cyan. Default color for inactive is white. You can change the colors.
vocalization warning call. Animal droppings indicate how recent the current track is. They also reveal the distance between the track and the animal. A recent track means the animal's nearby. Fuck you. And you should pr proceed with caution. What's the bloop? What was that bloop? That's very old. Okay. So let's go the 55 yards. Fleeing, they can be scared if they see, smell, or hear you, may start to flee. They'll run until they feel safe, remain vigilant for a period of time afterward, heightening their senses. So, debauchery, another question. If I happen, map, please. If I happen to shoot an animal and don't kill it, will it show up on the map? Like... Here's where there's an animal, um, and you need to finish it off. Again, I'm thinking a lot of Red Dead. Footprints indicate the direction the animal was moving. Upon examining, a visual comb will indicate the direction of the next track. Okay. Okay. I mean, that, that I'd gathered. So this is the animal that I am... Yep. And it left at a run because uh, I was making a bunch of noise like a loon. I'm going to have to stop this stream eventually, but unfortunately, I have started a game that I don't want to stop. All right, what is the... Oh, what's that? I would love to know the hold your breath button. Oh gosh, it's not. Hold breath is left shift. What? Yeah, okay, so this is, note the action, look at the movement here, right? And now I'm going to press left shift. And it still moves, but quite a bit less. Now watch when I let go. You can't hold your breath to steady your aim if your heart rate is too high. I'm serious, Shiv is going to love this game. Why am I? Why, why am I slogging now? Oh, because I'm still crouched. There we go. You can use animal collars and scent sprays to lure animals to you. Fleeing. Okay. Mia. Yeah. Oh shit. It can be the most fun part of a hunt, but it can also be frustrating. I didn't mean to. My mum's advice was always the same. Damn it. Take your time, so. <laughs> Eat shit, so. Hold your breath before you pull the trigger. It'll help steady your aim. Oh my god. So many things. Help. Why do I not have. Ah! I need so many animals that I could have just <laughs> hidden animal from a hundred meters. The size of the blood will give you an indication of the quality of your shot. A well placed shot will guarantee that the animal is close by. I know I should not be running, but I'm very concerned 
that this animal is going to get away from me. Make it count down an animal with your last round of ammo. You guys, I... <sighs> so, this game does not just automatically give you a ahahaha. Ah, ah, ah. All right, we want to follow this. It's not Red Dead, where it gives you a... a a dead eye line toward the animal that you've downed. Okay. I'm going to try to walk instead of run. So I'd gotten something with horns. Okay. That's fine. Is that the animal that I that I I went after? Where's the blood? Here we go. I know bleed rate very low. So that means it's probably it's it's not close to dying. Switching from binoculars to uh the rifle is is something that I'm going to want to have happen more quickly. And Red Fox. Crafty buggers, aren't they? They were introduced for Where? sport in the 19th century. Thirty Where? years later, they'd become an invasive pest species. Where? They're now widespread all over the country. It's a red fox. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. So my purple smudge on the map, I imagine, is going to be very large at this point. I will look at it in a minute. I just don't want to get fresh feral goat droppings, you guys. I saw that kangaroo. I'm not as concerned with that as I am about that. That one was running. When did this game come out? I have the IGDB um app installed on the stream if people um hover over the right side of the stream uh, uh, uh. cyan that's one i'm tracking if people wouldn't mind just taking a peek. All 
All right, but I don't necessarily want these spotted. I still want to go after my bloody goat. I may have I may have lost it at this point. Drinking zone. Okay. All right. Hold on. That said it was easy. Hold on. What I should do. Wait. God damn it. Shit. Oh, mother shit. Oh, my God. Okay, Mia. Uh -huh, I am sucking a bag. Now, what's this? Warning calls. It, my map is going to be 100% purple. All right, I think I'm going to... Is this poop or is this blood? It's poop. All right, so having... Having... Let's look at my smudge. Okay, yep, got two smudges. But I have now uh, unlocked that feral zone. And what is that? That is, that's another, but what is the double Z resting? Got it, understood. 2017, thank you, Samalander. Samalander, have you played this? Oh shit, and what was the animal? Oh, balls, they were just, was it the fox? The fox, the fox. That was another animal. Oh, I'm not going to be able to stop playing this game today, you guys. So there is benefit to, to spotting animals. Um, not, not only just to spot and acquire them, but also because it will allow you to discover resting areas or need areas. Yes, that was the answer. Bloody poop, too. Samlander, I don't know if you own it. Um, it was available on Epic a while back. For some reason, I feel like you might enjoy this, and I'm not sure that I am correct about that. And I'm not sure why, because you don't really play... Yeah, jumps, jumps, jumps like a kangaroo. Take a break before you attempt a shot. Otherwise, Got your aim it. Will be all over the place. So running increases your heart rate, making it more difficult to aim. Maybe I'm just thinking you'll enjoy it because I'm fucking enjoying the shit of it. And I also recently played Farm Sim and so everything is melding together. Regardless, I do not believe that I will be completing this challenge today. Yeah, I I don't I don't know. Oh, well, you probably also wouldn't enjoy it because you're killing animals.
So exclamation point raffle folks. Also, please uh, make sure if you are a subscriber, you are um, entering our subscriber merch giveaway because we are giving away our brand new uh, Girl Thoughts tanks this month. If you have won before, uh, you're still eligible to enter. There is just a three-month waiting period in between, um, in between wins. But you're still, actually, let me, you're still welcome to enter because there may be, like, if a few people enter and other people are disqualified for one reason or the other like maybe they're not subscribed at the time of the drawing blah 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 may be able to get another one beware all right boy driving an atv would be pretty nice although far too loud I think what I, I need to do, instead of just scrolling through, let me just see. Instead of scrolling through um, my weapons, what I need to do is just slot them. They, they are assigned numbers as well, just... Like, that's an extremely common thing. So instead of scrolling through, I could just hit one for binoculars or two for rifle, blah, blah, blah. Uh. Like, this right now is... Mm. Oh, those look like different. Okay. My games are bleeding together as well because when I'm holding up the holding up the binox to my eyes, I'm thinking about grounded where you have to um you have to inspect the insects so you can learn about its its traits and i think that's what i think i'm doing here too is i have to make sure to spot the animal so i can learn about its traits debauchery is afk right now we'll message again when he's back we'll try to answer any questions uh i've had while you were away debauchery you're super sweet thank you i am actually going to be um once i get to this outpost i will finally be ending this stream so I'm going to see if I can extend the the dare drop uh, time limit on this particular one because I was unable to access the game until just today. So maybe they will extend it so I can come back to this next week and try again because that would be very cool. My God, the amount of space in between things. Oh, my heart rate's all jacked up. Okay, I'll walk for a bit. So let's see what I've got while I'm walking. Let's see what I've got slotted for each number. So if I hit one. If you can't walk downwind of an animal, make it a habit to carry some scent eliminators. Or take more showers. Green cone. Oh, the green cone indicates the wind direction. Okay, that is super cool. So that's what I'm looking at. That's what that cone is. All right. But anyway, as I'm walking, we will press one. We will press two, three. All right. Nothing is happening. So I wonder if it needs to be the other numbers. One. It does. Two. Three. Uh-huh. Four. Got it. Five. Is that a lure? Is that a bird call? 
I mean, uh, an animal call? I think they are. Hold on. Yep. Yep. Seven. Okay. So three different animal calls. Eight is the D center, I think. Nine is that. Okay. All right. So that's good to know. I think I'm going to reassign those to, um, actually, no, they're on my, th so one, two, three, four, five, and six are all on my paw. Okay. All right, keeping going. And then we've got seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm going to switch some of that up for sure. If you can't get close enough without them smelling you, Fox is saying, then hit them with a mortar. You are so delightfully violent. Wait. Oh, for the love of shit. I thought, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I will still count this as my final whatever the hell. The final place I'm going to today. Exclamation point raffle, folks. To enter our weekly game giveaway. This has been a fun weekend, even though I've had the uh, the migraine stuff happening. We had the Among Us stream last night with the lovely jelly buns and friends. And this stream today has just been a blast. I Again, I don't know if there's a dare drop referral code, but if, if you are a streamer, um, I very much recommend dare drop because it's one of the very few organizations that has reached out to me, like done a cold email type of thing, um, and been legit. And it's super simple and easy to use. Um, they, uh, is there going to be conversation? Okay, so the lookout point not only lock, unlocks this area, but it looks like it also unlocks areas in your environment, which makes sense. That's cool. Um, but yeah, they are very responsive. If you have questions, um, you can reach out and someone will get back to you right away. Uh, so yeah. Big recommend. Goofball. All right. All right, so, um, can you actually look in this? That'd be cool. And then do you need any, are you able to get first aid? So, actually, does anyone know, can you get, like, pummeled by animals in here? Like, can they hurt you, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so, um... Hopefully, it, uh, it has a robust autosave system. I imagine it does. But I would like to take a second just to pop back in. Um... And just... What? 
Okay, but did that overlook point? I think it did. I think this has remained unlocked, right? Or are those resting areas? The neat areas? Uh, okay. All right, I think it, it maintained it. Because I don't see any area, I don't see any place to um, to actually save, to manually save. All right, so anyway, we are here. Okay, folks, what a great stream. Um, thank you all so much for hanging out um, and joining the, the fun and shenanigans today. Uh, it was just a real blast. Um, I look very forward to playing more of this. Uh, I think doing multiplayer bailing uh, challenges in farm sim would be a blast. Um, and police sim, I've got to go back in that and be more of a dick. I just... I think we found a couple of really fun games and all because of Dare Drop. So, yay. Um, all right, folks. Exclamation point raffle. We are going to be drawing the winner in 10, 9. We have two entries this week, you guys. Seriously? I mean, I'm happy to give these guys their wins, but okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Let me do something else. Okay. All right. So I am about to. Close the entries now. I'm going to pick a winner now. Bing! Intertooth! Intertooth has won the game today. Intertooth, has it been since April? I don't know why I said April like that. But hell yes! Congratulations, Intertooth! <laughs> Carol Luna, thank you so much for being here um, and for for joining me with the farm sim stuff. That was fun. It was great to talk to you real time. Um, and Doc, thank you for being such a nudge. Uh, points will re be redeemed for the uh, accents and songs that I refuse to sing. <laughs> so... All right, so folks, we have a couple of raid calls. We're going to go say hello to Eternity. I believe I've discovered Eternity uh, through Angel. I haven't had a lot of interaction with him. Uh, he does seem cool. This might be the first time that we are... Um, that we are raiding over to him. So uh, it would be great if you could help give him a nice hello from the sandbox. Um, we have a couple of those raid calls there. Top ones for non-subscribers, bottom ones for subscribers. Do the copy and paste thing. Even if you can't stay, if you follow the raid, plop that into chat. You get extra grains of sand to make me do things that freak me out. Um, and also we, we get to make a nice impression on a new community. All right. And before we go... Um, I also want to send special thanks to Samalander for the raid, Borlack for the raid, Marquack for the cheer, and welcome to the community, Cheetah Cat, uh, who has followed us.